Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokesh here at the Libertarian National Convention 2018 with Russell Brooksbank, the Vice Chairman of the Clark County, Indiana Libertarian Party. And uh, tell us just by way of background for us, Russell, how did you become a Libertarian? How long have you been involved? Well, I'd like to say I've been a Libertarian since I've been born, uh, but uh, I was a member of the Republican Party and I came home to the Libertarian Party in uh, 2013. Um, basically because uh, I hate my congressman Todd Young and the fact that he voted for the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012 and that um, that Ron Paul it really you know led me towards libertarianism in the home now I'm gonna make a dumb joke I've made several times <laughs> on this channel but uh, it, to the question of how did you become vice chairman of, of Clark County Libertarian Party, the answer is probably, well, you were at a Libertarian Party county meeting, you went to the bathroom, when you came back, you found out you were vice chairman. So, what's, but what's the real story, Russell? Well, uh, actually, the real story is that uh, uh, I wanted to be chairman, and um, there was a little contention, a little contentious, you know, between me and the previous chairman, and, uh, um, you know, he was not going to support me and he was going to support someone else which is fine and uh, uh and i support her now and uh but uh so he would let me be the vice chair i mean he, you know he would support me so th that's something really so i mean it was it, it was a kumbaya moment exactly oh you, you <laughs> i was about to give like a three minute rant and yeah it was a kumbaya moment okay oh, there, but there really is a beautiful phenomenon within the libertarian party we saw it here Josh Smith, we just saw, was, was uh, you know, runner-up in the chair's race, but we got him on the LNC, right. and that's the Libertarian National Committee. That's really cool. You see that kind of collaboration even in states where there are multiple people running for the governor's nomination. Oh, well, if there's four people running for governor, well, one can be the governor nominee, one can be secretary of state or attorney general or, you know, whatever other statewide uh, positions are on the ballot. Um, but about, about that, you know, the, the, coming to this convention, we've seen a lot of people coming together, we've seen a lot of beautiful things. Well, what do you think was the most important thing uh, that, that, that you learned from being here this weekend? Well, what this convention demonstrated to me is that the Libertarian Party really is a big tent party. Um, we've had, you know, arguments and fights and, you know, knock down, drag out, you know, uh, contentious battles. But in the end, you know, Nobody was purged. Everybody was listened to. Um, you know, so everybody got to make their point. And, you know, that, that to me is what liberty is about. And, and, and it's the only way forward for the party and for the country. You know, we all have to be able to sit down as adults, listen to each other, and learn from each other. Uh, you know, I don't care what kind of ist you are, an anarchist, capitalist, communist, socialist, whatever. As long as you are helping me push the needle towards liberty, I will walk lockstep with you. Well said. I, I couldn't say any better. But I, I do want to point out this is a really important thing for people to understand about these kinds of political gatherings, and uh, by that I mean Libertarian Party, as opposed to the old party gatherings. And we, we like to make fun of ourselves for, you know, what a pain in the butt it is to, to let everybody on the floor speak and to hear resolutions and any, anybody of, of, you know, up to a thousand delegates at every single convention, a little over a thousand technically, uh, you know, can get up on the microphone and, and be recognized by the chair just by standing in line as a delegate. And uh, this is one thing people very rightly praise our current chair who was re-elected Nick Sarwark for is that he's, he's good at running meetings and it's not just the, the board meetings but these big challenging conventions. And the, the result of, of suffering that pain in the ass of listening to people and having those contentious debates is that we can really say this is a member-driven organization. It really is transparent. Now, I'm not going to say it's perfect or that it's perfectly transparent even, but compare us to the competition for just a second and you're going to see there's a huge difference. Any thoughts yeah. on that, Russell? Well, I mean, you know, I consider the Libertarian Party my family, okay? We may be a little dysfunctional at times, but, you know, families fight. That's what happens, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we're going to go downstairs and have a drink together. 
Speaking of which, it's about time, isn't it? <laughs> yes, sir, it is. It's been a long weekend. Thirsty. We've been in there for three days, and you know, uh, uh, you know, th there's a lot of work that goes into this. You know, and, and and you know, I applaud every single individual that came here, take time out of their lives to sit in a room for three days and fuss and fight and argue, all so that you could have liberty. So why should people join the Libertarian Party? Because it's in their best interest. <laughs> um, I would say that if you are a lover of liberty... Someone's having fun with a bullhorn. I'm sure... We, oh, there it goes. All right, back to the interview. We, we have a lot of fun at these conventions. <laughs> but you should join the Libertarian Party if you want to live free. Um, if you want to be involved with a party that will actually do what it says it's going to do. You know, there's a, a, a libertarian in Florida that campaigned on, you know, vote for me and I will make a motion to get rid of this committee <laughs> to fire me. He got elected, he made the motion and the committee's gone. So if you want people that are going to do what they say they're going to do, vote for the libertarians. And if you want to know what they say, what we believe, look at our platform. It explains it pretty well. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Russell. Very much appreciate it. LP.org. Hey, Mike.